congratulations. You're a Grizzledom. Yes, finally, a head that respects me. Someone had a little too much bubble and squeak for breakfast. Don't worry, Dad. Those are just park employees. Cool. Then they can't hit me back. Boy, we're seasonal workers. Get him! <laughs> this is a good time to call Grandpa and see how mad he's doing. Oh, the lightning bolt in his head. Hello, Mabel. Can I have my dad? Sure thing, Marge. Patching you through to Throwback 7244. I remember the first day I went on them. That's it. Anyway, Maggie's having fun with her little friend. We're at the beach. I better put on sunscreen. <sighs> I finally know what it's like to be a British beverage. Gently back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Stop playing with the wheel. <laughs> Oh, finally, a place to spend money. I'll take three of each wand, plus holsters, and the five-year magic ear warranty. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to her purring like a kitten. <gasps> Grandpa, when was the last time you saw Maggie? I just changed her diaper before I put the cat out. Simpsons, I don't know if heaven's missing an angel, but I think you might be. I'm afraid we'll never ask you to babysit again. Well, you can rest easy knowing if anything did happen, she has the only insurance you truly need, a simple Christian baptism. Actually, we haven't gotten around to baptizing her yet. Take one of these. It'll buzz when I have an opening. I can't stop thinking about Maggie not being baptized. What if the unspeakable happens? Sleep well knowing current religious thought is Maggie won't go to hell. Although that's always up for debate. Nice and unbaptized. She'll play in an unsanitary ball pit for all eternity. We have to get Maggie baptized now. Either Patty or Selma could be the godmother. Well, it would insult one of them, but I want to insult both of them. Homie, this is important to me. I get it, but can't this wait? You go find her a godfather, the classiest person you know. I'm looking for a godfather for my little angel. Aw, oh, what a cutie. Let me give her a sip of beer. Okay, you're out. If I'm out, Carl's out. Godfather? Well, let's see. I have done a great job with Ralphie. Wiggum out. Don't worry, sweetie. You don't need a godfather right away. You're going to live a long, long time. Oh. Bad Tony, you saved us! Not I. It was the Blessed Mother. You're religious, too. What a cute little bambina. <laughs> I accept your offer. I will be godfather to your child. Yeah, but, 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 but... You did offer it to me, didn't you? Great, great. This'll be just like the godfather. The what? You know, the movie, The Godfather. Never heard of it. It's about a guy like you who does what you do. Fat Tony can't be Godfather. We'd be better off with Mr. Byrne. Pardon me for dropping by unannounced, but I could not help but notice that my goddaughter-to-be has an outdated car seat facing in the wrong direction. Well, that's very nice, but... And you, the mama, will drive her more safely in this Luxus SUV I have leased in your name. It's got everything. Hmm? That Tony, I'm sorry, but you can't be the godfather. Marge, think about this. Your baby will want to go to an elite preschool, a prestigious prep school, a college with the Ivy. We'll play along until we can get out of it. Godfather. <laughs> I just get through this, then you never see the godparents again. Always so nice to see you, Fat Tony. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Ah, I knew it. Have some parmesan. First, I want to help with little Margaret's religious development. First, the queen of all saints, Mary. The only woman in history who had the ungats to be a mother and a virgin. Actually, the virgin birth is the doctrine of traditional Christianity. This is Saint Lucia, which may or may not be where my money is. And this is Saint Zeno of Verona, the saint of learning to speak. 
for you, Margaret. You just enjoy riding in a safe car for once. Yes, 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 I do. For the family. Stop so we can do the door again. Whoa, Mama! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful! Those babies got those super sharp fingernails. Here you go, baby boss. Leave no evidence. Boss, Benny down at the liquor store is late on his payment. Again. Let me break his kneecaps. Marona me. You never talk that way in front of a baby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take sweet little Maggie to Guido and me class. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let me hotwire you a car. We'll change the plates. I know a guy. You'll be my little alibi. <laughs> oh, it's just so sad. Fat Tony has been a very good boss. I have too much respect for him not to kill him. Does Maggie seem different to you? I'm worried. Uh, Marge, let me put it this way. We can't be bad parents because bad parents can't get their kid into the finest preschool in town. I'm afraid we have an agreement, and you have not held up your end. We are going for a ride. No goddaughter of mine will miss Sunday service. Oh, but I'm hungover. We were gonna go at 1 p.m. I'm afraid there ain't no 1 p.m. no more. No attendance whacked it from the schedule. Oh, please rise and open your hymnals. He said open your book. Look, if we're direct and say he can't be gone, Father, what's the worst that can happen? There's a non-whacking matter I need to discuss with you. I also have to tell you something. Your daughter is cute, smart, and sweet as a hung jury. So I will honor all of you next Sunday with tickets to Itchy and Scratchy's Christmas on Ice. This is the first business I've had where in the back room is just more of the same. Hey, these diaper bags are great. You can hide a brick of nose candy in here. No, you mezzo argoto paisan. This is all above board. Hey, boss, maybe you can get your little Maggie one of these. You would body shame a baby. Oh. I've seen enough. This Sunday, we make our move. Um, we certainly appreciate all you've done for us. But Maggie has all the bling a toddler could want. What have we done? Uh, Maggie, what are you doing? I didn't mean it. Maggie! Fat Tony, get away from my kid! Excuse me. There is an urgent matter I must attend to. Homer, can I tell you a little secret? No, no, please don't. It's a good secret. I'm finally getting out of this terrible business I'm in. Give me one more day to prove that I belong in her life. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Get in here. Dispose of this. I don't want to know where or how. Ain't nobody gonna find this now. Oh, Maron, you'll never forget that smell. Remember, take the gun, leave the Zamboni. Okay, this is it. I'm ending it today, in a public place with a lot of witnesses. <laughs> that Tony, I beg you, stop being my daughter's godfather. If you do, I'll clean for you, I'll cook for you. I must refuse your offer. I made a promise to God to watch your baby. <laughs> Johnny, tight lips. This is it, Tony. You would betray me? <gasps> hmm. No, Maggie. No, I'm sorry. That's not me. Oh, isn't it? I'm stepping back as Godfather. Finally. Thank God. <coughs> Oops. Here's the keys to the SUV. <coughs> <coughs> uh, Maggie, my darling. Thank you for reminding me of everything that's good and sweet in this world. And now, ciao, Bella. Ooh, uh, before you go, could you? I'm not afraid to say it. If this keeps up, I'm calling HR. You mean Harry the Rat? He's buried right over there. Light! 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 Mm. It's your 
turn to get up. Night! Daddy! Breakfast! Jeez, this kid's kind of smart. Tuesday! Aut autumn! <gasps> She's a genius! Harvard College. Admissions essay. Lisa M. Simpson. I'm not little. I'm 20, and I live at home. Are you <laughs> disappointing? Oh, God, you know you're choking God, someone who can God. vote. But did you vote? No. I was born with one great advantage, a family that never made anything easy. Never more than on my seventh birthday. What the? Uh, <laughs> uh, I want bacon! Shh. I can't get Maggie to sleep. I guess I'll just have to start using these. Anyone have anything to say to me? Well, of course, honey. <laughs> Get ready for school, you'll be late. I oh, need this baby. It's someone's birthday. Someone whose parents pretended to forget. Yes! And that someone is Hubert Wong. No! I am sorry, but if you can't control yourself, I'll have to send you to the office! <laughs> but you saying that makes me want to cry more! Lisa, school is a place for sitting quietly. Did your mom ever disappoint you? This isn't about mothers. Oh, don't say a mother word about her. She's everywhere and everyone. Please tell me what's wrong. I can't tell you. You just have to know. Would tickling help matters? No. Well, that's really all I have in my toolbox. Okay, let me think. It's your birthday, and you forgot it, Lisa. But because it's your birthday, I forgive you, and you're going to have the best day ever. Optimism, you're back. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. And all is well until the next year, when they forgot again. I mean, really, two in a row? Even Luigi remembers it. As I got older, I realized, as all must, that my parents were not demigods. You are going to die soon. Shut up. No, they are a man and a woman trapped in a fragile marriage that nearly fell apart when I turned 14. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I remember! Don't tell your therapist! Who'd be better to take advice from than a man who wears one glove? <laughs> Lisa, it's your birthday! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a wonderful cake, Dad. But I'm 14. Go! <laughs> Happy birthday, Lisa! Huh. Better use Mom's closet. Oof. It's full? Dear Homer, by the time you read this... I will be gone. Since we married, you've changed. Not once for the better. So I'm taking the kids and opening a bed and breakfast. So, you finally left him. Well, good for me, and good for you. Mom! Mom! Hey, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Oh, God bless you, Inertia. That's a gravy. We used to call it grave, but that was too scary. I wish you wouldn't drink so much in front of the kids. Marge, I tried to drink in the pantry, but you claim that's antisocial. <sighs> Why don't you just go to Moe's? Happy birthday. <laughs> Harvard will save me. Harvard will save me. First, I have to save my parents' marriage. Wait here in this fantasy? Yeah, can we, um, you know, see other people? Sure. Dad! Mom is gonna leave you. Sweetie, marriages are like water heaters. They sit peacefully for years until they explode in a fireball, ruining everything you own. <laughs> Dad, huh? you've got to shape up. I'm 14 years old. These next four years are the last memories I'll have of all of us together. I never thought I'd say this, but I better text my sponsor. Almost got a sponsor? I, what idiot would lean into that buzzsaw? Hey, hey, I'm the man from A Diddly A. Okay, step one, admit you're powerless. I'm powerless. Boom, done. Step two, admit there is a power greater than yourself. God, he's in every deal like undercoating. 
Fine. Make a searching moral inventory of yourself. If I have one tiny flaw, it's that I have many enormous flaws. Admit the nature of your wrongs. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through this. Make amends. Here's your wallet. Engage in prayer. I pray you're not mad. And have a spiritual awakening. That's it. No more drinking. Look at those guys. I used to be like them. Oh, I'm overjoyed for thee. Call me any time you hear the devil said that the voice. <laughs> Drink me. I'm the most overpriced thing at Universal Studios. No, I won't do it. Oh. I'm so sorry. I miss you so much. <laughs> he did quit for good. And it was the best birthday present I ever got. Now for our instantaneous letter of acceptance. <gasps> I'm in! And I accept. I'm here, and it's ivier than my ivyest dreams. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. Let me carry you over the threshold. <laughs> Dad, that's for weddings. I think Dad's turning into Grandpa. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. This is great. We don't have to visit Grandpa anymore. Do you need any help unpacking? Mom, I need to learn to do these things for myself. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, my roommate. So, you play an instrument? Barry sax. Are you good? I played at Kenny G's funeral. I don't belong here. While you were feeling inferior, I took the top bunk. <sighs> well, at least you're having a good time. Yeah, these girls want me to piss off their parents before they head home. Get away from him, Mandy! I'll pay! I'll pay! I've known you all your life, and if there's one thing I know, it's that you belong here. Make Mom and Dad proud, and then I'll make them proud. But you first. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Are you my roommate, too? <laughs> For now. Till they kick me out. <laughs> I just think you're funny. <laughs> So I suppose you want to tell me your SATs. Very much, but I won't. Tell me about you. Hmm. You know, today I was hoping I would meet a lifelong friend. Yes, here I am. I have a friend. <laughs> oh, maybe more than a friend. After that day, I never looked back, except for all the time I just spent looking back. Light! Light! Sweetie, you're one year old and you're already the most amazing thing I ever did. By the way Nirvana played. Steroids caused a hit parade. Mini babies had it made. Mr. We, we could use a man, man like Richard Simmons again. again. Watching films like Gilbert Grape. Very nice. See you in court. Children, I'm sorry to say one of your lunches exploded. Who has the little bunny foo foo lunchbox? Um, that would be me. <laughs> it's not my fault. I can't afford a better lunchbox because I'm poor. Please, children, don't be cruel. Nelson might be poor, but I'm sure he has the $7 for today's field trip. Um, well, actually... Hey, don't tell us how to feel! Bart Simpson, be quiet! Hey, that wasn't me. That was Millhouse? Millhouse? What happened to my little class coward? What do you care, Mrs. Krabappel? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Toxic barrel rolling. They're so hot and glowing. We'll die. Smithers, the board of directors is coming here today. I don't want them to see Snap, Crackle, and Pop down there. Hello, I'm Isabel Sanford. This blows. Let's sneak off. Wander away from the group? Man, you've been huffing from the Bart bag. To old man Burns, who's paying us to drink because we're embarrassing. We, we suck. suck! It's our anniversary! Free drinks for everyone! That's great! I'm honored to drink to a poo and uh, a Pulina. 
You know, Marge and I have an anniversary coming up. What did you plan to get your wife, Homer? Well, these charity address labels that came in the mail. Milhouse, why are you acting so crazy? Did your imaginary friend try to kill you again? No, Walter's been cool. I don't care what people think of me anymore. You mean up until now you did care? Then why did you wear that tutu to school last week? What about all the times I didn't wear a tutu? Nobody ever brings those up. Now leave me alone. <laughs> Check it out. I'm riding some guy named Ironside. Oh, my banana. Danger, danger. You're a job. The indignity. Well, I don't want to go home. I'm not done talking to me. Just get out this door, Rummy, and you're the city's problem. Oh, you poor soul. You think that rat is a remote. Yeah. Huh? Five bucks. Bart, there's something I gotta tell you. I'm moving. What? My mom got a job in Capital City. Capital City? You can't move that far. You're my best friend. Kirk, we are going. Fine. But you can't take Millhouse. I have visitation rights. Yes, and you're also supposed to pay child support. Hey, I thought you said my money was no good. I said you're no good. Ooh, speaking of which... <sighs> why are your clothes so dirty? And why do you smell like liquor? Have you been clubbing? <gasps> Here it is! I am so wasted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're having a simultaneous pass out. Well, at least they're not fighting. I'm sure it's hard to lose your best friend. You mean Millhouse? Funny little guy. Afraid of the dark and the light. Now I got new friends. Guys who get me. 18, 19, 20. I found you, Bart. Ralph, we're playing checkers. I don't like you, boy mommy. Uh... Oh, you poor man. You smell worse than you did last time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know you. We met in a police lineup. Listen, do you have any pointers for a newbie? Well, there are six schools of begging. Bad musician, messed up vet, cripple, fake cripple, religious zealot, and crazy guy. Wow, now that is good crazy. <sighs> Never thought I'd have to take a plane to see Millhouse. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy you came. Now departing, No Frills Airlines, flight 89. Millhouse, Bart's here. What up, B? Millhouse, is that you? Yeah, I gave my look some new flavor. Suck it in. Uh, maybe later. Whippy! <laughs> Millhouse, you went Cap City on him! Springfield baby in a diaper poked his eye with a windshield wiper. Springfield, Springfield baby! Bart, honey, it's a nice day. Why don't you play outside? Outside? That's where me and Millhouse played. You know, I think your sister could use a little help washing the car. Mom says I'm supposed to help you. Fine, you can confirm the accuracy of the hose. <laughs> you wet your pants. Shut up! It's a serious problem. Lise, you are so dead. <laughs> <laughs> Homie, I'd like to know what you've been doing after work. All the answers you need are in here. Happy anniversary. Just plain diamonds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We finally have something to put in the wall safe. Kids, go ride bikes for a while, huh? 
Yeah, you heard your mother. when we were here. This place should be our special secret. Okay. Shake. Psych! Oh. Uh, Mr. Bojangles. Uh, we're all Bojangles. Remember, my dog up and die. Thank you. You got your wife the earrings, man. Why are you still doing this? I want to get a second house. Closer to work. <laughs> He's taking all our business. We're gonna have to do something. The mound builders worship turtles as well as badgers, snakes, and other animals. Thank God we've come to our senses and worship a carpenter who lived 2,000 years ago. Hi, Janie. Some other time, maybe. Today, I'm just hanging out at home. I borrowed my uncle's pellet gun. Wanna go shoot Apu? Oh, that does sound fun. But not today. Oh, my God, my sister's my best friend. Diamonds! I still can't believe he gave me diamonds. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the baldest of them all? I can't believe they're hanging out. <laughs> maybe she'll be a good influence on him. Or maybe he'll corrupt her. It won't last. Brothers and sisters are natural enemies, like Englishmen and Scots. You Scots sure are a contentious people. You just made an enemy for life. Listen, Mr. Hobo, you may not have laundry to wash, but I do. Now, what do you want to show me? Ah! Your panhandling. I should have known from that panhandling sign. Plus that ticket you got for panhandling. But, Marge, it was all for you. To buy all the nice things you deserve. And even if I did, this is the wrong way to get them. And to remind you of what you've done, I'm going to keep these earrings and wear them at social occasions. It says there's a curse on the mound. Of course, I don't believe it. Ah! Hi, Lisa. I brought you the Cap City version of Monopoly. Millhouse? I thought your mom took you away forever. I got a court order bringing him back. Well, I'm glad to be back. Those Cap City kids don't think I'm cool anymore. Now, let me show you that mound. You told him our secret? Hey, he's my best friend. Oh. I see how it is. Great! Then we're all cool. <laughs> you should hang with us sometime, Lise. Mm-hmm. I think I'll go to bed now. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Boy, are you in trouble. What are you talking about? When a woman says nothing's wrong, that means everything's wrong. Hey, Lise. You want to play Cap City Monopoly? Look, just because Millhouse is gone doesn't mean you have to pretend to be my friend. Oh, come on. I'll roll the dice for you. Three, four, five, chance. Pick up a card. Bart will defend you when other kids call you a nerd. <gasps> no one calls me a nerd. Trust me, that is a valuable card. Pick up another. Bart will give back the Malibu Stacy head you thought was lost. I think I'm gonna use this card right now. Oh, do I have to? Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Call the police. I need change for a dollar. No change without purchase. Someone should shoot you. No, oh, I was hoping we'd miss the three o'clock holdup. I don't know what to do for dinner now. Maybe we could shop somewhere else. There's a farm stand next door. Well, I think this family should try more vegetarian meals. We'd feel better and live longer. Vegetables? You've been promoted from side dish to entree. Oh, Marge, I'm giving birth to a food baby. Uh, I feel like something crawled inside me into the crap. <laughs> I brought you some wheat tea and dry toast. No fish. Lisa didn't get sick. It's because your bodies are so used to processed food. I think it's staying down. It's staying down. 
Oh, oh, it's not staying down. Wait. Yeah, it's staying down. You'll all feel better if you get a little sleep. Now close your eyes. <sighs> Where's my bucket? And if that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. <laughs> Looks like you guys are on the mend. Yeah, because we're through with vegetables. Hey, hey, kids! Do you have what it takes to be a singing sensation? Unaffiliated with American Idol. We've never even heard of American Idol. The winner will be animated into an itchy and scratchy cartoon. Lisa, you should enter that contest. You've got a great voice. It made us all feel better. I hope we didn't camp out here for nothing. It's like every kid in Springfield showed up. Don't worry about the competition, sweetie. After all, he works for us. Our prayers pay his salary. And if I win, I'll be on Itchy and Scratchy. Aha! I'm going! Pee-wee! Pay your neuter your pets! And remember, save the violence for cartoons. All right, kids. Let's do this quick. I was going to be your celebrity judge. But then I realized I'd have to pay attention. So instead, we'll use the applause meter huh? How I wonder what you are. Thank you. I can't believe I used to date him. Lise, you're a shoe-in. Sounds like a fancier version of the song you're going to sing. Da, 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 no. I may not know much, but I do know talent when my producers point it out to me. We have our first contestant, Carissa Wellington. Don't lose hope, sweetie. I'm going to write you a song so great you can't lose. When a man Which one are you, the man or the woman? Questioning the kid's sexuality. Well done. <laughs> Here you go, honey. Sing this. I'm talking Springfield. You can buy Jimmy Chung. Just talking Springfield. The chicks are big as zongas. There's tires on fire. A guy named Apu. Where nobody sucks. Except for Flanders. <laughs> Sweetie. No, we did it, Dad. She's right. It was all me. I really do like working with you, Dad. Will you keep helping me? Of course, sweetie. La, 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 la. Good job, sweetie. Every time you hit that note, I'll shoot a glass with my BB gun. to get a green spotlight? Sorry, sweetie, we don't have green. Let Daddy go talk to the man. Is that green enough for you, sweetie? Because I can make it greener. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's Cameron. Girls go crazy over him. He's cute, unthreatening, and his smile brought a puppy back to life. <laughs> My kitty died on Christmas Eve. Daddy told me to be brave. <laughs> oh, God, I miss Lisa's cat so much. The first contestant eliminated is Katie Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you are the first victim of the Buzz Cola trapdoor. And the next contestant to be eliminated is Clarissa! I brought those Twizzlers you asked for. My little girl likes red vines. You little... <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Simpson, please stop! Hey. hey, these are red vines. There you go, sweetie. Daddy got you your candy. 
Homie, I'm worried you're turning into some kind of super cuckoo stage mother. But, Dad, you don't need to help me by humiliating people. You love sausage, but you hate to see it getting made. I don't love sausage. Then would you like to see it getting made? Dad, you're fired. Dad, I'm sorry you're hurt, but you left me no choice. You were obnoxious at a level not even permitted in show business. Bart, you want to go to the video arcade? Hell, I'll even go shoe shopping. Hey! Come back! I'm coming down! Hey, everybody. I brought a guest. Someone who appreciates my in-your-face management style. Hey, Simpson family! How can I touch your hearts tonight? Oh. You're working with Cameron now? All right, I'm going to teach you a little something about jazz hands. Arch, Arch, Maggie, send his little helper. He's <laughs> so? Dad, I don't want things to be awful between us. I made you some cookies. So happy! Oh, God! They're, they're gone. Oh. Okay, Morty. Give me a rose-colored spot tight to the mid-chest and an aqua background with an astronaut on the surfboard. Sure, sure thing, Mr. Ress. This is our final night. Thirty contestants have already fallen through our Buzz Cola trap doors. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make. I didn't have my usual songwriter tonight, so I took a stab at writing my own song. Now that you're gone, Dad, I miss you so much. And your threats against Teamsters and Techies and such. But you're always my dad. You know, the best part about this whole thing has been the time we've spent together. I don't care if I win, just as long as you're in my corner again. I always was, honey. I'm a privileged boy. It's great, I gotta tell ya. Privileged boy. My dad can buy and sell ya. It really doesn't matter that you're on the list in front of me. You suck, Johnny Rainbow. I believed in you. Whoa. Sabotaged Cameron for me. I'll always be there. Not even death will stop me. <laughs> now you're getting creepy. How about I love you, honey? Good. Do 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 do